If you've got a really good memory, you might recall that in addition to showing you the preview Microsoft Teams SDK and Manifest at Ignite, we also showed you Microsoft Loop components. Always live, actionable experiences you can embed across M365, starting with Microsoft Teams and Outlook. We also know that many of you have built search-based message extensions that can insert adaptive cards into Teams chats and now into Outlook emails. Today, we want to show you how you can transform adaptive cards into loop components. Let's start with a demo. One of our partners, Zoho, is transforming the static adaptive card found in its Service Desk Plus cloud message extension into a loop component. The new adaptive card loop component has actionable content, enabling customers to make quick updates without switching context. And changes made in the loop component stay in sync as it's copied pasted across Teams and Outlook. Zoho is making this change to help its customers improve incident response times, reduce outage durations, and improve overall performance against SLAs. Here's how it works. A service outage is detected, and Adi, the incident commander at Contoso, has created a ticket for the incident in Zoho SDP. Adi then copies the link into his Teams group chat with the on-call technician, Darren, from the incident response team. The link then unfurls into a Microsoft Loop component, allowing them to take quick actions right within their chat. Darren updates the status to in progress directly in the Loop component and copies the component to his chat with Serena, the service reliability engineer, where they troubleshoot reliability issues. Serena adds a comment to the component, and since Loop components are always live, Everyone on the chat sees the latest updates, which are also flowing back to Zoho's own SaaS app. Darren implements the fix with Serena's input. Once he's completed the fix, he updates the incident status to result. Meanwhile, Adi receives an email from his CIO requesting an update. One great option Adi has is to simply copy-paste the loop component from Teams, maintaining a single source of truth across Teams and Outlook. But since he's an Outlook already, Editor, which uses Context IQ, recommends the Zoho message extension, allowing Adi to seamlessly retrieve the same loop component with relevant incident information. Context IQ is a new set of capabilities available across the Microsoft portfolio. In products like Editor, you can use Context IQ by simply typing the app symbol to discover content, people, and information relevant to you while staying in the flow of your work. As you can see, Zoho's loop component enabled the team at Contoso to easily share relevant information and address the incident quickly, all while staying focused on their work stream. Zoho projects, GitHub, and Dynamics 365 have similarly updated their message extensions to generate adaptive card-based loop components that boost their customers' productivity with actions like changing the due date to align with the updated schedule of a Zoho project's task, commenting on an ongoing GitHub issue, or updating the estimated revenue of a sales opportunity in Dynamics 365. And as we saw earlier, this enables customers to share content across Teams and Outlook while always staying in sync. We invite you to join the developer private preview starting in late June to evolve your message extension and create your first loop component. Be sure to subscribe to the Microsoft 365 dev blog or follow us on Twitter for updates as the developer preview becomes available. The full end user experience with portability across Teams, desktop, and mobile, Outlook Web, and Win32 will come later this year.